G'day and uh, welcome to Murna Valley. Um, anyone who would have watched the race last week um, that I raced with with the um, Newcastle Ho Racing League, or the NHRL for short, would have seen me um, drop off in the last two rounds as I was competing with Peter Smart. Um, we were going toe for to toe, toe to toe, lap for lap, door to door for the first uh, four, four uh, lanes. And then uh, the last two I dropped off. And here's what I'm blaming. So... For those who have never seen my stuff before, this is a resin body um, that I that I make. Um, this is a bulldog set up at 1.6, and also I've got um, foam tires all around on this that I make as well. But getting back to what's actually what we can actually see here, so there's a lot of play, which is excessive. But I'm just trying to see if I can see. So if you look at the pinion gear, the center of the pinion gear is worn out. So the gear mesh is knackered, and that slows your cardio. So what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to swap that out. And I'm not going to do it the cheats way, or the easy way of just swapping the back axle out, because that's boring. I'm going to actually change the gears. So before we start all that, before we start all of that, let, let us put this chassis on the dyno and see how it performs. So this is at... 12.5 volts and you would have heard it get slower then and it's getting slower and I reckon it's all to do with that gear mesh and this is what happened through the race last week so let's fix it so I've got a couple of tools here so this one's available from Viper this is a pinion tool remover and installer um, stencil knife wheel puller, wheel putterer, back on her, <laughs> and of course a uh, pinion and a um, crown gear. So these are a 22 in the um, in the Bulldog um, wide magnet, um, which is the same as the original Tommy Turbo wide magnet, pretty much. It's, they could race side by side pretty much. So to replace that gear, I need to pull the, I need to pull the wheel off. Hasn't been serviced in a long time. Two shims. I'm just going to pull. Oh, do I pause it? Do I pause it? No, I don't. Look, just keep going. This video is going to take forever. These little tills are not essential, but damn, they make life easy. There's all sorts of other things you can use. So this is a um, 22 tooth pinion because the standard gearing in an original Tommy Turbo, as in non-SRT, is 7.22. So pinion being 7 teeth, crown gear being 22. Let's see if I can get this in without looking like a total spaz. Let's do it around this way. sorts of things I'm having a shocker it should just once I get past that knurling it should just press on oh, there we go and now that's closer I should just be able to press it on using this yes I can So I need to space that back out, but let's, and I find this tool easiest for this, just gently, gently lever this out, 
Get rid of that pinion. Get a load of that thing. Tell me why my car's slow. Gear mesh is really important. Now this Viper pinion installer. How good's this? Now you don't drop it all the time. Like I've been doing to everything else in the video. Alright. So you got a little bit of motor end float. We see that. So what you don't want, you don't want the end of the pinion touching the rear axle because it'll slow it down. And what you don't want is all of that. That's rubbish. Do yourself a favour. Do these things to all of your cars, all of your shape. Oh, look, that's. You know what? That's a bit tight, eh? Gym is too big. There's a couple of ways to deal with this. What have I got? Hang on, let me hit pause. I'll get a tool.